All right, y'all, so here's our core one workout. So we're gonna do plank body saws, high planking at elbows, and then leg raises. So for the first exercise, plank body saws, you're gonna need either two furniture sliders on a carpet floor, or you can use socks or a towel on a hard, hardwood or a tile floor. Either is gonna work fine. So sliders down, you're gonna be in a plank position. So when you're here, you wanna make sure your abs are drawn in. So abs tight, glutes tight, quads tight, keep your upper, upper body engaged, your shoulders should be forward, not sinking down and back. So plank position, feet on the sliders or towel, get set up, abs tight, butt tight, then you're gonna rock back as far as you can, and then come forward again. And then when you're doing that, make sure you're staying in a range of motion that you can maintain your posture. So if you go too far back, you might feel your low back sink down. That means you don't have control of the range of motion. So only move as far back as you can while staying in control. All right, next exercise is the high plank in the elbow. So we're just gonna get in our standard high plank position, flat back, everything engaged, bring your knee to your elbow, and then alternate. You go ahead and hold a second when you touch your knee to your elbow. All right, last exercise is leg raises. So here I'm gonna use a captain's chair. So you're in a, in a dip station or power tower. Um, if you don't have this option, you can either do hanging leg raises on a pull-up bar, or if not, you can just do leg raises on your back on the floor. So here, abs tight, legs straight, everything engaged. Lift up high as you can, and back down. And when you're doing this, you wanna to try to tilt your pelvis up, so you're getting more ab engagement and not just the flexors. Um, and then again, if you don't have this, you can just be on the floor anywhere, hands underneath your butt, if you prefer that, and just a normal leg raise. 